Hi Lux family, it's Jay. Welcome back to my channel and I hope you're doing okay. This LV ban is literally killing me and I mean killing me slowly. I'm so close to spending all of my coin but I'm trying to hold tight and hold on to that money because in October hopefully I'll be purchasing my big big item. If you follow me over on my Instagram then you'll probably guess what it is. If not, you're just going to have to wait. However, if you want to know more about my life, then head over to my Instagram where you can keep up to date with me. You lot are literally loving, loving and loving my LV videos. So let's stick to LV today and I'm going to give you basically a little showing of something that you've probably seen before. But I want to give you lot a bit of an update of basically how it's been wearing and tearing. Before that, please remember to click the subscribe button, like and comment down below. I mean, I'm so close to my goal. If you don't know already, when I hit my thousand subscribers, I'm gonna be doing a big Q&A. You can ask me literally anything you want to, no holds bar. Obviously, we gotta keep it PG, try to anyway. If you haven't seen the review that I done earlier on the Monogram Eclipse coin purse, then head on over there. I'll link it straight at the top for you lot. And here we have it, the men's Monogram Eclipse coin purse. Now, this is something that is so tiny and so beautiful and it holds a lot. So if you stay tuned and stick around, we're gonna take an in-depth review on this and basically give you an update on what it's all about. Here we have it, the beautiful Monogram Eclipse coin purse. Now, some people call this a wallet, I call it a coin purse. You can call it a key holder as well because you can fit so much stuff into this. Now, this is the actual monogram eclipse. It is available in the Damier Graphite, which is beautiful as well. But this is the one that I really, really loved only because I'm just in love with monogram eclipse. Now, that is the side of it. You have the actual glazing just on one side and another side as well. And then on the inside, you can see it pulls apart, giving it some actual extra room if you want to put more stuff inside. Now, the thing that really pops on this is the gunmetal LV zip. Look how beautiful that is. You've got the little tab as well with the LV sign on there. And it goes all the way round. On the bottom, it's just basically one piece of canvas that they've stitched together and it just lands really, really beautiful. So let's open it up and show you the inside of that short coin purse itself. One thing I did notice about this when I took it out is that the zip itself is actually really tough to open. You have to kind of like really, really pull it open. That's another thing that actually you kind of have to look at. Maybe put some WD-40 on there or some Vaseline. Should be all right. So that is the inside, you can see, great, all my coins going everywhere. Let me take the coins out just so it doesn't go everywhere because we're trying to save the coin, if you don't know already. Okay, so there we have it. There's the inside, it's actually really, really nice. It's actually canvas all here and over here. You can see it has one slot in here, which is really convenient. If you want to just take some change in there and also you can put your car key in there. And then you've got basically a little card slot. You can just put your bank card in and you can just tap. Obviously, don't go too crazy. Tap, tap, tap in. So I'm going to take that out for you. It actually fits really nice in there. You can also put more cards just in inside of it here. And you can take maybe about three or four cards in this. And then you still got plenty of room inside of it. This men's coin purse is made in France. For me, it doesn't really bother me whether it's made in France or even Spain. But it is nice to have some of your collection or most of your collection from one part of the world. Now, I've been using this coin purse for quite a long time. It hasn't got any damage done to it. It's really durable and it's kept its like shape really, really nicely. So that's a great thumbs up. However, you won't be able to see it on the camera, but I've been noticing the canvas over here. It's been getting lightly, lightly scratched. Now, you kind of have to look at it from a certain point or a certain angle, I should say. But it actually is not that obvious, but I've got OCD when it comes to little marks. So if I see a mark, I'll always see it. That's the only problem with it. It just gets scratched lightly, but I mean, that's not a big deal if you don't really care about that. And it's bound to happen. The stitching as well is still intact, which is a really, really good thing because sometimes it frays and on this one, it hasn't. This is a really, really good pick me up, take me out, you know, put you in the back pocket sort of thing and forget about you. It's something that, you know, you could take out and you don't have to worry about. So for me personally, 
This is a really, really good item to get from LV themselves. However, it is beginning to get a lot harder to get this because I believe when I got this, it was £180. It's gone up to, I think, around £200. Still pretty cheap. But, I mean, most of it is canvas. I think pretty much all of it is canvas, actually, apart from some of the inside. However, I'm just going to show you another card holder that I have that is a similar price and you get a lot more options on it. Now, if you haven't checked out this video before, I'm not going to pronounce the name because I always have a problem with it, but it's the LV Envelope card holder. Now, it's literally same sort of size. And the price range is quite similar. I think they're around 200 Great British Pounds. However, this one, it opens up and it has a button and it's got basically a card slots in there and you put your change in at the top. This is completely different. They don't, unfortunately, offer this in the monogram Eclipse, which is a bit of a bummer. So that's why I got this in the monogram, but it does come in the Damier Ibin graffiti. I always keep forgetting to add the graffiti in it, but the, the black and white square one, if you lot don't know the name of it. Now I'm gonna zip it back up and you'll see where it just like tugs it on itself. And that is me doing it with a lot of strength. It is actually like really hard to open up. Let me do it this way. It does take a hot minute to actually close it, which it shouldn't be a problem if you just put some Vaseline over it. Maybe I haven't opened it enough, who knows? You know, saving all that coin, keeping my hands out of my pockets and off the internet and off the LV website. You know, I should be proud of myself. Unfortunately, you can't fit a lot of snacks in it if anyone wants to know about that because I tried myself and the small snack that I put in there, it was no use at all. I think LV should make a dedicated, literally snack bag. Why are they not doing this? Like, do they not think that people need to store their snacks in something luxurious? That is all from me today. It's not a in-depth review, but it's somewhat of a light-hearted review. I mean, if you want to know more about this product, then please comment down below and give this video a thumbs up. I'll make sure I'll comment back and answer most of your questions if you have a question that I can relate to and I have the item to put in there. Thank you so much for watching this short video. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up and also comment down below and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to hit the notification bell as well so you stay tuned to all of my new videos coming out. Thank you. Stay safe. Peace.